At 7.30 tonight, in a country practice, Esme returns to Wandin Valley after receiving the Order of Australia, and Alf Muldoon takes over the club and puts Cookie out of work. Now, it's time for the Thames men. Hello. I feel like a, you know, like uh, tortoises when they come out of the shell. Like, <laughs> Hello, George. Hi, everyone. My name's Alex. I'm from San Francisco. I'm George. I'm in Los Angeles. And who are we, George? Tell, 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 tell those poor people who stumbled upon the, who are wasted their precious hours of their life with us. Marketing man, marketing. We are a high value, high entertainment, highly intelligent reaction channel. We Absolutely. Are we are from the River the river Thames in England, but we live in the West Coast of America and welcome to our humble abode. So, you, you, you know, we have this whole you, English humour, but we have the wisdom of America behind us. People would argue about the word humour, but... People argue about the word wisdom. Well, OK, so let's forget that last sentence then. Yeah. But we're welcome anyway. <laughs> um, we just watched a band called Crown Hunt. We were talking about it afterwards. If it, yeah, after after you watch this video, go back and watch the other one. It was amazing. Was but fantastic. But, but today, just today, we're going back to one of our old bands, aren't we? Yeah. So 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 we did a new band, and now we're going to jump to a bit of a classic uh, and a a um, which has some relevance because it has been used in uh, Stranger Things recently, um, and it's a live performance. But uh, should we jump straight in? Do you want to talk about it? No, I want to talk about Stranger Things, first of all, because I know you've watched Stranger Things, right? Yeah. Have you not watched it? No, I haven't. I tried watching it, but it's one of those, isn't it one of those programs that has no plot? It doesn't really end up doing anything. So there's no I mean, like, if you... Well, if if you... If you watch the Titanic, I don't want to give it away, everyone, but it sinks, right? <laughs> you know there's going to be an event. There's no there's no kind of event on the Stranger Things, right? Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, yeah, it builds up to a big, big event. It's like, uh, you know, well, that's the whole point of it. It's like, it's like starts off in this little town, you know, uh, and, and then there is this... Well, how far did you get in watching it? Mm, three or four minutes. Uh, so, so, so you just saw some coloured lights, maybe, yeah. and it was scary. And then you ran away and hid behind the sofa. It was too scary, was it? Yeah. Well, what? <laughs> whatever, whatever. I told you not to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Stranger Things is brilliant. It's like a the, the like because it's 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 so retro. It's so eighties. They do such a good job of like the high school, the kids, the the everything about it is, is so like just it's a pure visual pleasure to watch that that sort of that all those references we grew up on and then they they just do it it's, it's like it's like i i'm not a big horror fan so it's it's got a, like a bit scary a bit edgy but it's not just like slash and kill and murder and stuff like that it's it's it's, it's more intelligent than that and then it's sort of building to big i think it's what we've had just season four now um and it's sort of there's there is an intertwined star element to it and and now they're bringing all this sort of pop culture musics uh, and obviously we did uh, running up the hill with uh, Kate Bush which went to number 1 because of stranger things okay. and then uh, so then this one uh, metallica master of puppets uh, was used in stranger things as well so you know it it's all, all goes around comes around it's brilliant and talking about horror what do we got coming up after this week Oh, after the, what? What's the horror after this week? Yeah, well, oh, what's the next it, curated oh, week? Oh, it's it's Halloween special, which it in is. internet land means nothing, but it's going to be Spooktober. Spooktober. <laughs> oh, <you've> got... <laughs> Such a ham. <laughs> <laughs> I like you way you built up. To that. Um, no, we uh, after this week we got obviously we've got a curator coming up, and we're going to do Spooktober. We're going to do our Halloween. We're going to do our Halloween uh, curator list, aren't we? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So exactly, That's just for fun. So uh, we better get well, on not with that. For, it's, not, it's always for fun. It's not for real, is it? You know by, by the time we get it done, it'll be like it'll, it'll be, <laughs> by the time we get it done, it'll be like December. Be like Spooktober in December. Okay. All right. Well, today we're going to do today, Josh. We're going to do Metallica M track. 
uh, Master of Puppets from 86. Yeah, do you want to yeah. do the notes? Yeah, with a couple of short notes. So, so as I said, classic track that was used in Stranger Things. Uh, if you listen carefully towards the end of the song, the riff from David Bowie's song, Andy Warhol, is played as a tribute to the influence he had on band members. Uh, and in case you're wondering, it's all about the joy of drugs. I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, the Andy Warhol, you know that song. It's off the off the hunt. Uh, that's going to be good. I, I never knew it was in it. I'm, I'm, I, you know, I don't really know this song. Okay. All right. Well, let's. I, it is. I, I honestly, yeah, this is from '86, I think. Uh, and um, I, yeah, I've I, it, Master of Puppets gets mentioned a lot, but I don't. I think. I think we'll probably know it when we hear it. But let's see. Let's see what's going right. on. My local band just up the road. You know, their 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 rehearsal room is in San Rafael. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And. Uh, uh, well, as we called it, San Rough as Hell. Rough, San Rough as Hell. Are we ready? So I think this is this is a recording from in Seattle in um, uh, 1989. Excellent. So uh, let, me, let me just cue myself up. Uh, are that you ready? That sounds nasty. Are you ready, sir? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. <laughs>
God, that was like one of the hardest rocking performances I've ever seen. Oh, they yeah, freaking amazing! They that is amazing. That is amazing. Let's, let's go around for I mean, Hetfield vocals, absolutely. His voice was great, but also he had that, that rock sort of like a snarl going, you know, like, like, like really like, like insane amount of power and energy in him at that time, you know. And then Lars on the drums. Lars is a total dick, right? <laughs> he's absolutely he's very hard to like. Whenever I've seen any sort of backstage documentary, he is a total dick and he's really cocky, but he's a bloody good drummer and he's a drummer of Metallica. And I mean, they also, he knows he is a bloody good drummer and he, you know, he wants to, he, he, he's the only drummer I've seen that has a spotlight coming up on him from underneath. You know <laughs> what I mean? To show himself off. But he's right. a bloody good drummer one of his fills when he did it I, it went oh just it just blew me away it was yeah he's so good i, I mean that and that was such a tight performance you know and uh, i mean obviously i don't know if they did a bit of post-production afterwards or whatever but it sounded fantastic and, and like then, what what a great way to, to have been in that audience to have seen that like a 10 minute just tour de force of of like pure rock power just they were then, all on their game they were all totally fired up you're right, They're, and they were the, they were probably the best that they ever were. Then you know, just after the Black Album, but then or Master Puffs. But then they um they they had Kirk on lead, and just God, man, he's like a, he's like a firecracker when he goes off. He yeah. just like just when you think you, you you're there, then he, you know they can release him. He's absolutely brilliant. I mean, I mean the the mainly white male crowd. Pretty you much know, so. Pretty much, yeah. I yeah, think yeah. it should. I think that should be pumped into every headphone of every tank commander there is on the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> if that was, if that was like the in the cavalry and in, in armored cavalry, and if you had a, a load of tanks coming in, they had that being piped through the headphones. I think they'd do a lot of damage. Wasn't well, <laughs> but equally, what, what wasn't it being used as like torture for after the Gulf War and th- or after you know weren't the when the Americans using it in Abu Ghraib in the prisons, yeah, you know, when not that whole scandal, they're pumping like rock music into the cells of 
you know, people they wanted to interrogate, you know, and 24 hours a day and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, but think of the royalties. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think the CIA pay, pay royalties, do they? Oh, I, do you think I, they have, like, a little contract with, like, the Recording Association, you know? Uh, I, I if it's on Spotify, they'll get two pounds. You two dollars, and that'd be about it. I well, you know, that- it, it stops it stops their videos getting onto YouTube because it's block them. So therefore, it's like secret. You know, their, their videos will never come out because they just get blocked, like we do the whole time. But every terrorist are going to be scared of Metallica right now. So that well, they really like it. <laughs> what you could backfire next time you see the crowd, it'd just be you like like you know turban as far as you can see. You know, Hello, Akbar. <laughs> yeah, and just like halal pork sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> just like, um, this, this, and every every fifteen minutes, they have to stop and look east. <laughs> Everyone just down there, and then they're like, "Oh, okay, we're going, we're going to hell for that." <laughs> we're gonna, if we're gonna which, get, which hell though? Yeah, question. but we're going to get blown up as infidels now. Oh yeah, well we haven't shown any images. Uh, you know, of, uh, yeah, anyway, we, let's not get into that. It's, it's <laughs> no, 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 no. I felt sorry for. I hope that crowd surfer survived. Well, the one who was going down the plug hole. Was <laughs> he seemed to not man it. He seemed to be in a bit trap. He, he was in a whirlpool. <laughs> With just feet in the air. I think people are just pickpocketing him on the way down again. I hope he survived. There was one lady. I she, saw one lady. I only saw yeah, one yeah. lady. Yeah, the white yeah. top on. Yeah, I thought, well, yeah. she's brave. Yeah, <laughs> they've had a high stir up high, you know. I, I, what, I, what is it with American, you know, mosh pit circles and England mosh pit circles, right? They go in there and they just beat the crap out of people. American mosh pit circles, everyone just seems to skip in the circle. It's, it's skipping in circles. It's like I know we it's were we weird. were at a, we were at a Ramstein the other day and they had a mosh pit there and there was just lots of men just running it's around. Like Morris stuff. dancing. They were all like, "Wait, exactly. yeah, exactly. oh dear God!" There's, there you go. Cultural differences on mosh pits. England. Oh, okay, so if you put an English mosh pit against an American mosh pit, who would win? Uh, English. Well, but the American mosh pit would run away in little circles, a little skip, wouldn't it? You know, <laughs> we'd catch them up. The English are so unfair. They'd stop for <laughs> yeah, cigarettes. The cigarettes and wait with a bottle black label. Time. They'd, they'd wait with a bottle. Every time they come around, they'd just smash one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Actually, meanwhile, the English mosh pit would just be beating up itself. I know that's what the English do. They just—it's a bit like uh, it's a bit like our anxieties. It's just a physical <laughs> manifestation. We just go out there and beat ourselves up. <laughs> I'm not good enough. My my dad never hugged me. <laughs> All right, that was absolutely. Oh God, I love that. Thank you very much. Uh, that was absolutely brilliant. I tell you what, for Metallica, you can see why they are absolutely uh, a global f- a phenomenon. They are when they're good. They are top of their game. I mean, yeah. no one comes near them. They sound very dated now to me, but they, yeah, they, yeah but they, uh, then they were just top of their game. I, I, a couple of weeks ago or about a month ago, I had uh, lunch with a guy who was on, do you remember that concert, uh, that show we did where, or the reaction we did to the Metallica in Russia where they had like a million people at the yeah. airfield and there was like the choppers going in the background and all the army and stuff like that. Yeah. I had lunch with a guy who was on that crew and he was part of the Metallica uh, onstage crew. He was, I think it was the monitor engineer. And um, he said it was just madness, you know, and uh, and they had, they were all given a hotel in Red Square. And and it was just like, it was just after the wall had come down and it was like really not very nice. And uh, like, so they ended up all sleeping on the stage. He slept in a flight case for a week, you know, oh, just because he didn't want to go back to the hotel. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Yeah. Right, so uh, that seems to be an absolute. I, I mean, I think Chris picked that. That must be one of the most epic performances. I can't ever imagine uh, Metallica performance topping that. Quite frankly. Oh well, yeah. well, that one in Russia was pretty amazing as well. But yes, I, that that one and that that version of it was. They were just. I I said it before, but they did just their energy in it. You could see their sort of just pent up power within them, uh, which was just driving it through. And I thought that was great. I really like that. So. Yeah, like a mouse trap ready to go off. They were just ready to snap, weren't they? They were. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Metallica's ever been compared to a mouse trap. That's what they could do in the finale. They could just bring out a mouse trap and a mouse. <laughs> so you're God. saying that Metallica are like cheese? No, Metallica. Are like the mouse. <laughs> Metallica are like the mouse trap. Uh, so who's the cheese? You're the cheese. Huh? Are we the cheese? <laughs> Okay, look, right, and on that, going anywhere. Uh, no, on that no. bombshell, <laughs> on that bombshell, for Marge. <laughs> All right, see you on the flip side. The flip side, Back. quality content. <laughs>